hi guys and welcome to my youtube channel for those that are new i'm ak some people call me draco so it doesn't really matter which one you want to call me but yes um today this video would be about moon cosmetics i did not want to make this video well yes i did i definitely did want to make the video but i was debating whether or not i was going to make the video or not because when i googled moon's cosmetics it is a black owned business you know and i usually don't i don't want to like you feel me i'm black so i definitely want to support black people whether you're white or black should run like a fucking business you feel me mood cosmetics is not fucking doing that okay <laughs> but no i didn't want to make this video because of that but i'm going to make it because i would like some respect to be put on my fucking name you feel me i'm not feeling the shit so basically i've seen ari ari fletcher i've seen her um do like little things on her instagram story and like promote them and all that other shit and things like that but once i seen jada do it <laughs> i was like Ugh! and then i seen her do like this little thing um when she went to like the moon cosmetic um headquarters or whatever and something little baby came and it was just really cute and i don't know it rubbed me the right way so i was like you feel me and then i seen her like reposting people that ordered from moon cosmetics like you know they got their order and stuff like that so i'm like if ari and jada and all these other people that i seen fuck with moon cosmetics and everybody else is getting their fucking orders and shit like that so obviously moon cosmetics is good because i only heard like good things from them but when I ordered for them, it was not a good experience. It was not a good experience. I so, ordered from them back in November. It is February 16th. Like on Instagram, when I went to their Instagram page, let me make sure, let me see if it's still there. But when I had went to their Instagram page, they was like, oh, don't DM about orders. What is this Instagram page for then? If I can't DM you about my orders, like I can understand don't DM me to put in orders. We have a website for that. But customer service, bitch, I should be able to fucking DM you guys because that's how people communicate nowadays. You feel me? And I'm so tight that my hair is like, but yeah, so I'm like, what that? Like what? Yeah, it says no DMs about orders. It's backwards, but okay because i'm like okay so i have my i had the order confirmation so i'm like okay so maybe if i just type in my order number in somewhere in the website <laughs> it will like show me my shit or whatever but there's no tracking information on there there's no way to track your packages or like to type in your order number and be able to track your package to see what the fuck is going on there's basically there's nothing i didn't i didn't have nothing so i'm like did i get scammed just now like is this real because this doesn't seem real to me all right well the first message on here so basically i think i have met because my message is not here it just says their message i guess i um told them what was happening what's going on basically i ordered my shit november 27th and it's still not here and i don't have no tracking information can you please fucking help me and they messaged me back and they said thank you for your message very well i will be forwarding your request to the team concerning and don't worry your order will arrive 14 days after you place it on your on the site i was chilling like bro 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 usually when i order things or something has to do with my money like my own personal money <laughs> I did just order a little something though because I want—I think I wanted to order the mask because that's what I had seen Jada using but I had ordered the serum and the serum was only $20 so I was like you know it was just $20 let me not fiend like that but let me really figure out what I should, my shit is at and that's what she said she said 14 days or whatever so I'm like alright oh wait my message is right here I said hi I made an order on November 27th for the Rose Pro Fusion and it is it is now December 20th and I haven't received any shipping information on my package nor did I get my package so can I please have an update on the package like just an update like let me know my shit is in transit let me know where my shit is at like the fuck like what's going on you feel me and that's what she said back to me she said look forward to it. whatever 
And then I had sent my order number and my order, it was $23. It was $23.25, okay, to be exact. And I have my order number. I'm gonna cover my order number, but bitch, I really did. I really did order that shit. So I'm not sitting here making up shit. And y'all see the date, the date, bitch. The date says November 27th, 2020. PayPal checkout, bitch. Like, I, I ordered it. I'm not joking. I'm, I'm dead serious. You feel me? She did respond. She said hello. Then she said my name. She said, thank you for your message. Very well. I will forward your request to the team concerned. What was you doing the first time? Because it didn't get forwarded then. So what do you... So I'm like, okay. Then on the 31st, I said, hi, so can I have a refund or should I call my bank? For a fucking refund and distri distribute that shit, whatever the fuck the word is. Then she responds. She said, "This is the message that had me tight. This is when I was like, I'm gonna make a video about this because she's bugging the fuck out." She said, "Dear customer, and as you notice, all of these messages are like this, like regular. This is my my screenshot of it. But all like when she was being petty, my shit was highlighted in white. Okay." She said, Dear customer, please note that our items are made to order and that the raw materials to make them as well as the shipping label with your address are automatically paid for by our ERP system. At the moment, you make the order therefore as specified in our terms of service. Who the fuck reads that shit? Not me. I don't fucking read that shit. So I don't know what the fuck it says in there. But the money was definitely taken out of my fucking account. So I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. But yeah, she said, Our apparel will be shipped as soon as your order is ready, and we hope you love it. Please note that the shipment averages 14 days or less. It's been November, December, January, and now we're in fucking February. I think two weeks has passed. I think two weeks been passed. Because I ordered my shit on the 27th of November. She sent me this message on December 31st. If my calculations is right, she got me fucked up. So I'm like, what? I'm like, hey, so I still haven't received. No, this is um January 30th. So I didn't even respond from that. So a month later after she sent me that petty ass message. Basically, I had tried to order from them before and they was basically, this shit said not in stock, not in stock, not in stock. If your shit was not in stock, why was I able to order it? And why wasn't that like a little section where it was like, bitch, your shit is not ready and it's not gonna be ready for a while. So if you still wanna order it, go ahead. Like some message like that. It didn't say that. So basically I responded the next month, January 30th, and I said, hey, so I still haven't received my serum that I ordered in November. How would you, like, this is when I was being petty because I'm like, bitch, like, put it in motion. Like, put it in my shoes, bitch, because you get me tight and you're not seeing where the fuck I'm coming from and it's pissing me off. So I'm like, how would you feel if you order something in November and it's the end of January and you still haven't received anything and the customer service is rude and refuses to give me any information on the whereabouts of my product? For real, like how, how the fuck would you feel? Then she responded, she said, thank you for your message very well. I will forward your request to the, concern, to the team concerned. What is your order number? I look forward to hearing from you. Then I sent her the same fucking screenshot that I've been sent. She said, hello, don't worry, your order is on the way. This is February 1st. So I'm like, when will it be delivered? Do you have any tracking information? Like, can you tell me something? Can you let me know something? Like, you're too quiet. Like, you ever been like driving somewhere far and Siri, like, you know, the bitch that be like, bitch, turn right, turn left, turn right, turn left, to make a U turn. Like, the bitch be too silent. They be too silent. I don't know what the fuck is going on and this shit is pissing me off. And I ain't got no response from them. I ain't got no package from them. I ain't got shit. I ain't got shit. I have that situation with the whole email thing and them not like taking my shit seriously 
and I feel like biz black owned businesses the same way that they expect respect is the same way they have to give respect to the customer. Everybody needs to be fucking professional about the shit. That I feel like is highly unprofessional. Like bitch, every time I link my friends, they be like, so you got your moon cosmetics yet? And I'm like, everything else that I fucking ordered way after that. Like y'all need to put that on like motherfucking front screen, like bitch. Like, and I, I feel like at the same time too, it shouldn't take y'all 14 days to make one fucking serum because that don't make sense to me. Like y'all are a business, y'all have a lot of customers, y'all have these Instagram influencers freaking promoting y'all business and stuff like that. So obviously y'all gonna get a lot of orders. So why is it that y'all don't have shit ready? Because me, and personally, I want to open my little hair business and shit like that. And I want to open a couple more businesses and shit like that. I want to, you know, I want to be on my entrepreneurship. But if my shit's not ready, if I'm not ready, I'm not going to. Like, if y'all do not have the fucking serums and the freaking ingredients that y'all need, maybe your shit shouldn't be in stock. And once again... Through things, well, actually, I think I ordered it after Thanksgiving because isn't Thanksgiving like on the 21st? I ordered it on the 27th. So, Christmas, New Year's, and Valentine's Day, I didn't have no serum. Even if it was to come, it would just be like, you're not even fashionably late, sis. You just, anno I'm just annoyed at this point. Oh, so, I don't know. That's my little thing on the freaking moon cosmetics. This is not really 100% a review because I don't have shit to review because it is like four months late. So yes, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys made it to the end of the video. If you like this video, let me know. If you guys have ever ordered from Mood Cosmetics and y'all got y'all shit, I really do want to know the um, the quality of their shit. I really do. I want to know why one and stuff like that because I'm I still do want want it, but bitch, I'm not gonna wait until I'm old and fucking dry with three fucking kids for my package to randomly come in like 2026 20, or some shit like that. Like I don't. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Look at my skin. My skin is fucking peeling and shit. So let me back the fuck up because that was not cute. <laughs> but thank you. Bye.